All right. Now that we've dealt with the fictional nonsense, let's deal with the real nonsense, which is hard to distinguish between one and between the two. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here, a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this is, and I'm, I'm, oh God, he's getting political again. Well, I'm going to have to on this one. The next big issue that's going to pick up in not just America, but the world is automation. This is going to be, have a huge impact on our future and not in the way that the robots are going to rise up and kill us. It's simply the fact that it's cheaper to replace people's jobs with robots. We're going to end up with all these people who have no jobs because robots. Yep. However, this is not that day because uh, everyone sent me this. Everyone was talking about it. The entire internet was fucking talking about this today. Washington, D.C., they have a security guard at uh, in Washington. It's a robot. It's a security robot. And it killed itself. I mean, can you blame it? <laughs> what is it's my like function fucking marvin from hitchhiker's guide from the galaxy <laughs> what is my function you wander what? around looking for people oh my god what's the point it was a one small step for security technology but one giant leap in the wrong direction for robot kind security robot washington dc lovingly named steve Steve. Plunged four steps into a fountain Monday. <laughs> Photos show the sad waterclogged robot, uh, robot cop partially submerged in defeat. It's unclear if any foul play was involved or if Steve simply rolled down a dark path on his own. <laughs> Steve had started patrolling the Washington Harbor complex, uh, Riverside complex in Georgetown with restaurants and offices last week, Washington Harbor and its real estate developer, MRP Reality, introduced the robot on Facebook on July 12th. So five days, five days after they started with the robot. Are we sure somebody in a fucking Philadelphia Eagles jersey didn't push it in the water like they did the hitchhiking robot? (laughs) Because Philly's not that far from D.C. And Philly fans are savages. Here's the... Well, here's one of those things that they do. They buy these because uh, ostensibly getting a robot to do security is cheaper. Is it just like a roving camera? Yeah, it doesn't have like like a butt plug. So I can't imagine it can do anything (laughs) like it's not RoboCop. (laughs) No, it, it has a bunch of different cameras and sensors. The worst it can do is emit a loud alarm if it sees something. Danger, Will Robinson. And five days, five days after it went into service. It was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. These are supposed to be cheaper. They're supposed to be, you buy one of these and you don't have to pay for uh, retirement or health care or any of these other, or or, insurance, yeah. Right, it's just a one-time upfront fee with maintenance costs. This doesn't seem like they saved anybody any kind of money. No, probably not. Also, I feel like most people are not going to drown in a fountain. No, that's, that's another thing. If a, if a security officer falls in a fountain, they're he, just going to stand up. Right. That's... Hi, you want to come up here? You don't know? You don't know if you can jump on that really high foot high stool? Yeah, that's a tough one. I, I just... The future is dumb. I can't get you. And speaking of of dumb, well, this this is okay. You you remember uh, pump up the volume? Yes. Uh, uh, Christian Bale, not Christian Bale, Christian Slater. Slater, yeah. Remember that that fucking Christian Bale was like ten. I loved that movie. That that was I mean, of course you did. Of course I did. I loved I loved that movie. That that movie was, you know, 
it's a, it's a bad movie. I'll be first to admit it's a bad movie. But the whole pirate radio thing, the idea of, of taking over the airwaves to speak your mind in, in the age before the Internet made that possible. It was it was very you know interesting. Well, that spirit has not gone away. However, when they got on the they took over a radio station to speak their mind. Not Juggalos again, is it? No. Local radio station keeps getting hijacked by song about masturbation. Huh. Communications regulator is hunting a radio pirate who has repeatedly hijacked the airwaves of a local station with a deliberately offensive song about masturbation. The Winker song, a 1970s ditty by an artist going by the name of Ivor Biggin, has been illegally broadcast, uh, illegally forced onto the output of Mansfield 103.2 at least eight times in the last month. Ofcom said it's taking the incident, quote, extremely seriously. Its engineers were working closely with the radio station to tr trace and identify the pirate. And I have to say, if, if you've never heard the Wanker song, or the, 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 I can't I can say that I have. I can't, the Winker song, I can't play it on this segment because, you know, copyright. But it goes a bit like this. I'm a wanker. I'm a wanker. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a bunch of that. Repeatedly. Are there any other words? Like, I can get the full lyrics here. Because I don't see how that's that offensive. I mean, I get that you can't pirate into the radio station and play any bullshit song you want, but if those are the only words, it doesn't sound that offensive. Well, um, here it goes. Uh, my mother said that I never should play with the naughty rule girls in the wood. Their giggling talk, I never understand. And that's why I fell in love with my right hand. <clears throat> and that's why I'm a wanker. I'm a wanker. And it does me good like it bloody well should. I'm a wanker. I'm a wanker. And I'm always pulling my foot. Okay. So I can, I can see where that would be a problem. You can see where that would be a problem. It goes on from there. Um, you know, I just got to say, I appreciate you want to, to, to just express yourself. But really, this was the best you can do. What are you expressing exactly? <laughs> That you are a waker, apparently. I mean, there's webcam channels for that, and they would pay you. <laughs> you could just make a career out of this. Look at me! Well, I was thinking a different kind of <laughs> well, different, yeah, different. broadcast. I mean, I don't know yeah. what you do. On, I haven't watched your game streams, so... <laughs> uh, I don't know what happens there. Uh, Tony uh, Del Hunty, manage, managing director of uh, Mansfield 103.2, said, Some people have told me their children have started humming the song in the car. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like, if your children, if your ch children are above five, they probably know more offensive, silly songs than that. Like, do you remember when we were kids and everybody had their own diarrhea song? <laughs> yes! Like kids, mm. kids are gross. But this is this is another one of those things where it's still the 21st century, and yet with enough power output and putting a transmitter in the correct position, you can overwhelm a terrestrial FM radio. That's kind of comforting. <laughs> yeah, some plain old analog bastardry still works. Yep, yeah. it's it's. It's it's kind of just simple, warms your heart. Simple but effective. You now, can still just wank. Yeah, it's it, whereas uh, television channels have all switched over to digital signals, uh, which have a different way of broadcasting. FM radio is still FM radio. Now they the tried. Powers, yeah, they tried to to push uh, HD radio a while back. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah, 
they, they try these HD radio receivers. We have a separate channel you can only get if you get this. Nobody got them. Because HD is good for like video. Yeah. HD audio, like if you have a good stereo in your car already. What's the point? Right. Do you need HD audio? No. Not really. So the result is we still have FM stations and people can take them over. And I just, this was the best you could do. Just play eight times the same song. It's kind of like the What's New Pussycat prank. Now, if that motherfucker had done that, that would have been magical. Well, but how's it different? Well, it's the same thing. Yeah, but you got to do that one over and over again. Just just do that permanently. Just overwhelm yeah. the signal permanently. When I was in college, a couple of friends and I did a late night show on the college radio station for a year. We were terrible. We were so bad. We didn't put the kind of planning you do into it. <laughs> we went in and bullshit around for a couple hours. We were the last. I didn't go to a very big college and the radio station was not a very big deal. So we went on Friday nights from like midnight to two. And we were the last show until Monday morning. So we had to then put on whatever CDs were going to run on a loop all weekend. And sometimes we were nice. And sometimes we put Kathy Lee Gifford on a loop all weekend. What? Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy what? Lee Gifford put out a couple of albums, like easy listening shit. Why would you? And we had like a 12 CD changer or something that we could pick 12 CDs and it would just play those through all weekend over in a loop. But sometimes we would just put in Kathy Lee Gifford and loop that shit all weekend. You're the devil. Yeah. Oh, hey, speaking of the devil. Everybody get ready to be angry because this is just another... I just, oh God. Oh God. They, I'm going to start this story off by saying nobody got hurt. Thank Christ. Oregon mother arrested after using car to tow kids in plastic wagon. <gasps> Springfield, Oregon. An Oregon mother was arrested on Wednesday after she apparently used her vehicle to tow her two children in a red plastic wagon. Why aren't the kids in the car? Several motives called police after seeing the vehicle circling a roundabout repeatedly. Alana Nicole Donahue, 27, was arrested and charged with two counts of reckless endangerment. Uh, Lieutenant Scott McKee said the mother, quote, didn't understand what the problem was because she was only driving at five miles per hour and she just wanted to show the kids a good time. You know what you can't see in your rearview mirror in a car? Things that are really low to the ground, like yeah. children in a wagon. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't fucking. Also, one of those kids doesn't even look like he's wearing clothes. <laughs> we have a neighbor that every day walks by our house with a can of beer in one hand and his kids in a wagon in the other. And he walks them around. He has a beer and he walks his kids around the block. Emphasis on walks his kids around the block. Yes. And the kids get to hang out in the wagon and he has a beer and get some fresh air and everybody's happy because he's not dragging them behind the fucking car. I'm pretty sure you can walk at five miles an hour. Yes. Like, how fucking lazy are you? Yeah, because it, it just... This is, this is like one inch away from being a tragedy. This is, we get to joke about this shit. What the fuck is wrong with you, because lady? Because the little trailer hitch you have didn't do this. Yeah. And pull one of your fucking kids under the wheels or into another car. I, and how do you not think of that? I have a, I, I don't have kids. I have a fucking cat, okay? Yeah. And I freak out leaving him alone for a few hours. I mean, my brain goes to, okay, what could he possibly do? Could he eat, like, some staples or something? Could he, like, you know, knock over the TV and it land on his head and he dies? I'm currently considering, like, seriously considering erecting, like, foul ball mesh from, from Major League State ballparks around our basement stairs because Peggy likes to hang out 
on the railing to the basement stairs. Like, and I'm convinced she's going to fall and die. And he's like, she wouldn't die. And I'm like, well, I don't want her to break her leg either. Yeah. And we're thinking about it. And this lady's just like, you know what? I'll just tie the kids in the back of the car. Whatever. It'll be fine. Just hang on to the bumper and get on a skateboard. Jesus Christ, lady. You're awfully quiet today. No, I've been looking at you. Every so often you say something and I go. You didn't even make fun of me for the Peggy thing. Cause he's been making fun of me for that all day. I'm like, well, what if I, we get those wall perches? So at least if she falls, she has something to land on. You know, like those little shelves you can put on a wall for your cat to sit on. So if she falls, she can at least like land on something or grab something. I don't think I'm being unreasonable. He thinks I worry too much. You do. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry that you don't love them. Okay, moving along. So, I, I, I since uh, Amazon Prime, I'm sad to say this. I probably shouldn't do this so much, but I order a lot of stuff off Amazon. We do too. Yeah, it's it's just like you know, you wait two days, boom, stuff arrives. Right, it, it's and that. it's right on the phone. Yep. You don't you don't have to talk you don't have to deal with another human being. Ooh. You don't have to like be asked if you want to buy a warranty or some shit. Nope. You just you just click a button and two days later things get to your house. Yes, things like televisions or or a new cell phone or or feel away or, diffusers for your nervous cat. Or poop. Can't say I've ever ordered poop. Amazon delivery driver drops off a bag of poop on family's driveway. Oh, man! Won't let me look at the page because I have an ad blocker. Well, that's shitty. <laughs> yeah, it's just blocking out the whole page on me. It just it, that one went right over your head, Tara. <laughs> that's shitty. Her, her. Why do we, you make a pun? It's funny. Because that's my I, job. Oh. <laughs> Man in East London was expecting a package from Amazon. The special delivery in his driveway was not what he ordered. After finding a bag filled with poop and Amazon calling cards, quick check of closed circuit television cameras indicated that a delivery driver for the e-commerce giant was responsible. The homeowner, Andrew Wingriff, tells the son that he was alerted to the receptacle of poo when his 14-year-old son informed him He'd seen a delivery driver squatting outside. He says that the Amazon business cards seen here had been used for cleanup when the driver oh. finally finished doing his business. Wingrave wasn't inclined to touch this mess, saying, what if I contract the hepatitis C from the driver? His actions could have killed me. Said two employees from Amazon were dispatched to dispose of the bag and bet they had some words for the co-worker later. What did you do to this guy? Did you order the 50 gallon drum of lube and make him deliver it? I just, it, it okay. Just wrapping my head around this, you're a delivery driver. Yeah. And you think, wait a minute, I got to poop. I'm going to hop out right here into somebody's driveway and uh, poop in a bag and then wipe my ass with business cards for my own company. Right. Because, you know, I don't want him to know who I am. So See, that's why I feel like this was a, a, a pointed slight. Like you pissed off this driver in some way and this was his fuck you. And the fact Amazon had to send out other Amazon drivers to clean up poop, human poop. They're kicking I mean, his ass. That might be a slight overreaction. Do you not have a shovel? <laughs> like. They're, they're, fi they're finding out who it is and they're kicking his ass. Yeah, they, they are. Well, they, they probably know who it is. They know who runs Roots. I just. Like. My brother works for one of those large package handling companies, and they know who is where at pretty much any part of the day. I they mean, know who's running which route, so they already know who it is. Oh, how is this? How does 
It's a, I'm feeling like Tony Stark right now. In what version of this, D, there is no version of this where you come out on top. There is no throw. That was the problem. There was no throw. <laughs> Exactly the problem. I mean, god damn it. This is not a solution to that problem. <laughs> there's there's you don't duh. Also wiping your ass with business cards. Can't be comfortable. No. Those are those are that's a that's a paper cut in a very uncomfortable place. Yeah, that's hard paper and it's got sharp edges. And I mean, I guess you do what you got to do in a pinch, but. Oh, oh, hey, now the next story is we, we've got that we've got more poop. There's there's more poop. Why is there more poop? I. Just... <sighs> Why is there more poop? Take the poo to the new. Naked man covered in feces tried to sell people candy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> man was arrested in Ohio on Tuesday, accused of offering people candy while completely naked. Middletown, Ohio. Man was arrested in Ohio Tuesday evening, accused of offering people candy while completely naked. They say they received reports of odd behavior. Authorities found Michael Morgan, who was, quote, showing signs of intoxication and sweating profusely, according to a police report. The report adds that Morgan had, quote, feces all over his person. This is told police that Morgan took off his clothes, defecated on a chair, and attempted to sell candy to people. Neighbors accused Morgan of masturbating in a home's backyard. So we just... We just went for the body, the body fluid hat trick. <laughs> Morgan, who is known to police, was arrested and found with dozens of bags of candy. Authorities say they believe the candies were stole from a nearby convenience store. Okay. A lot to unpack here. Do, do you want a fun size Snickers? No, <laughs> sir, I do not. <laughs> No. Uh, okay. Why is it not the package? Let's begin with the plan was to steal candy from various uh, consumer outlets. And then sell it. And sell it. Okay. Not a great idea, but at least we're following you here on how right. this is supposed to go. At least there's an ABC. Right. I, I don't exactly see how you've got a booming business model here, but you've got a plan. That makes sense. It probably sense. would have made you 20 bucks to buy more boots. Right. So your next step is to poop in a chair. No, your next step is to get naked. Yes, naked. Then, and then poop, poop in a chair. Poop in a chair and then cover yourself. I guess the thinking is, well, no one else is selling candy like this. So I'm carving a niche. You know, anyone can get, you know, smarties or nerds. Or Mike and Ike, but can they get it from a naked guy covered in poop? Huh? Covered in shit, masturbating on random people, and trying to sell you something you don't want made a guy president. True. Anything is possible. This is America. I guess, I guess, you know, we could just call this innovation. Yeah. He's just he's just following the zeitgeist. It, it, he's offering a unique experience along with the candy. He is he is defining his brand. Yeah. Which is naked poop. Awful. Yes. I... Which is candy with a free side of God knows what diseases. Now they mention he's intoxicated, but they don't say by what. Which is yeah. one of those. It's anybody's guess. I'm like, gonna what's he drink. To make you do that. I'm going to wager it wasn't just alcohol. Probably not. Because uh, this is, a, we say this many times, I've been drunk. I ain't never been this drunk. No. And I'm a fucking lightweight. So I've been real fucking drunk. 
Yeah, I've never downed a six pack and then thought to myself, you know what I need to do? Cover myself in poop. I've been like, my ex-husband wanted to take me to the ER because all my freckles faded drunk. <laughs> and I haven't been naked, covered in poop, selling candy and masturbating drunk. That's... Yeah. It's it's a problem. <laughs> that guy doesn't walk his kids by our house in the wagon anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's just you said you wouldn't tell my secrets. That is that is duh. Now you might be thinking right now, well, Nash, what could possibly top? I know. Where do we go from there? Where do you go from naked? trying to sell people candy while covered in feces and masturbating. Well... <laughs> we go here to uh, Olympia, Washington. I did not kick through a plate glass drawer while drunk. I did that completely sober at the age of 17. Thank you very much. Olympia man mailed IRS Severed finger, fake bomb. Okay. An Olympia man accused of mailing one of his own fingers to the IRS. Okay, well, they're going to take prints off that. <laughs> <laughs> now faces federal charges. Federal prosecutors. What? There's your first problem. Yeah, you don't send them your own finger. Oh, you send them some other asshole's finger. Everybody knows that. Because now you're also out of finger. Federal prosecutors in Tacoma say Norman Larivere, uh sent a fake bomb to the IRS in Utah. Uh, Larivere, 68, was also alleged to have sent tax collectors a bullet as well as a marijuana joint. Or in court, special agents with the Federal Protective Service said Larry Vare had been upset with the IRS and other federal agencies since he was laid off in the 1990s wow. from his position as a federal defense contractor. So he's just mailing them random things? You know, if you're still in contact with an ex 20 years later, Mailing them shit. Like sending them <laughs> shitty letters. Unless it's like child support. Yeah. That's pretty bad. That's yeah. a, that's already... You need to, to move on with your life. If you're... Because that shit... It might have ended badly, but it's been 20 goddamn years. Go do other things. It's time to move on. Go do other... But 20 years after getting fired from a job and you're sending them your own finger... Like, maybe this was a puzzle we had to put together, because there was a bullet. A joint. A joint. Waste of perfectly good drugs, by the way. And the finger, like, maybe next was going to be, like, the gun, and he wanted them to use his finger to shoot themselves. <laughs> it's like a kit. You have to assemble right. it. Right. Like, maybe we were very slowly assembling a, a self, an at-home hobby kit. For murder or something. <laughs> Crazy Diamond in the channel says, this is like if David Lynch did Falling Down. <laughs> kind of. I mean, Except there'd be a letter under the fingernail. You, you, and the, fa all right, any one of these things on their own is potentially Crazy. illegal. Sending a bullet in the federal mail. Illegal. You can't just mail explosives. You can't. You can't just mail drugs. Sending drugs. Very illegal because, number one, you can't mail that shit. And number two, drugs aren't legal. Marijuana is not legal everywhere yet. We'll get there. Not now. Fake bomb. Very legal. Definitely not. Totally not okay. That, that makes them really mad. Your own finger. finger. I repeat again, they're going to print that. Yeah. And if you were in the Navy and a government contractor, they have your prints on file. So like, that's going to be a pretty open and shut court case. Okay. Oh, this, this, I, I, I have to read this. 
Bomb technicians examined the device and found it was packed with a whistle. What? This is a person who's not well. <laughs> what was your first clue? <laughs> this person might do well with some medicinal assistance of the not marijuana kind. Yes. <laughs> of the Thorzine kind, just off the top of my head. I bet the FBI guy, I mean, I bet the, I bet the IRS guy's going, I wanted the boring job. Right? I thought this was going to be, I thought I was just going to crunch numbers. Right. Like, I was going to crunch numbers, accountant. send out liens, you know, send out bills, make people arrange payment plans. I did not get a two year accounting degree to put up with this shit. <laughs> You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people just flat out hate the IRS. Yeah. I'm not, so I'm not, I don't mind paying taxes. It's just, no. it's really irritating. Some, especially, I don't like paying taxes because I like having civilization. <clears throat> I like having roads and schools and a functioning police force. And so I don't mind paying taxes. For someone like, like me, there are just so many additional steps because I have to yeah. itemize my own shit. I don't pay payroll taxes. So I never but, get... I never get a refund. I'm always paying out. It's, yeah, it's if you're always... in business for yourself, it's a big pain in the ass. But like when I was freelancing, I was a freelance makeup artist for a while, and that was a pain in the ass. But I, I, I didn't know that like in order to file my taxes, I was supposed to be logging every fucking mile I put on my car for mm -hmm. work. So like, well, how many miles did you drive for this job? And I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't know. Am I supposed to know that? I don't know. And I, 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 but yet I still do it because, well, that's just how shit has to do. Because you like living in civilization. I and civilization costs money. I never thought to myself, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to send them a pinky. Yeah. Because, I mean, who laughs last there? You're the one that's down a finger now. Ha ha ha! I sent you my finger! I win! Like, good, like, next time you go to pick your nose, you're gonna be real sorry you did that. <laughs> ha ha! Oh, oh. Exactly. Oh. oh. I, I guess, I guess the That's first- another reason you send someone else's finger, by the way. I guess the first thing you, we learned this week is, you know, the IRS may charge an arm and a leg don't take that shit literally. No. And if you do, somebody else's. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be yours. Come mm -hmm. on. Outsource that shit. It's There's the 21st lots of people century. covered in appendages that you are not using. <laughs> <laughs> and that don't have your fingerprints. I love how whenever we get into one of these things, instead of the innate wrongness of the action, you go to, no, no. We could do this. We just have to do it slightly differently. You're just doing it wrong. You're just doing it wrong. Yeah. We learned worth doing. Worth doing right. We learned that sales is all about leaving a good impression, a memorable impression with your customers. <laughs> yeah. But there's a limit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just go get one of those wacky inflatable motherfucker things. Yeah. Don't cover yourself in poop, okay? Or like a clever sign. Right, you know? I'm just going to use the money for booze. <laughs> there are people that will respond to that and buy a candy bar. We've learned that you, if you're going to be pooping while you're delivering stuff for Amazon, it's usually better if you use a toilet not a driveway, and definitely not business cards from your job. Like, there's probably a Starbucks where you can buy a bottle of water and use their bathroom. Yeah. Like, this, you know. Yeah, it's it. That's and that's one of those weird things. You can say whatever country we're talking about. Because it takes place in England. It doesn't matter. There's right. a fucking Starbucks somewhere. There's a Starbucks or some type of fast food joint that if you make a minimum purchase... You can use their bathroom. You know, one day there isn't going to be a Starbucks any, everywhere. We don't have one really close and easy to get to to us. And it like, I haven't had Starbucks in months. 
and it, I miss it. <laughs> We've learned that it, it's good to treat your kids to a little bit of fun and have some quality time. It's not good to do so with heavy machinery. Don't tow your kids in your fucking car, you fucking Fine. idiot. Oh, hi. Fine family fun almost never involves involuntary vehicular manslaughter. We've learned that radio pirates are alive and well and stupid. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they're wankers. What? Wankers. They're just total wankers. And finally, we learned the robots are not going to kill us. They're going to kill themselves. I don't know. I still don't trust them. Well, you know, no, honestly, if I were a robot right now and I was looking, especially a robot working in Washington, D.C., and I looked around at everything that was going, I'd, I would I would have reached fuck it by now.